the markets in the day in bullish territory, and one of these two <laughs> will be your next president. And the markets go a bullish. Everybody in bullish territory in the green, but the banks, the banks ending in negative territory. Financials barely in green. So watch that. Could be a faux pop here. And you have the US dollar up a fraction. Crude oil down 0.6%. Gold down. Silver, though, up 0.6%. And the VIX actually higher. The VIX index higher by 1.4%. And taking a look here at the markets. One. Check this out. Sizable move today. Higher high with a higher low here on the Spider, the S&P 500 ETF. Popped up over a resistance line. See this? Resistance, resistance, resistance. And we got over that. That's pretty bullish, guys. Very, very bullish. We stayed below this area of resistance coming across here. And we stayed below the 50 and the 100-day moving averages but stayed above the 20 day moving average. I'm gonna go over here to the NASDAQ to just show you. We continue higher, but we have a lot of moving averages, but 50 and 20 day acting as resistance. But the banks, look at this. We get a tweezer top, doji. Oh, we did not get the same move here in the financials or the banks. The financials though did go higher, but barely squeaked out positive territory move here. We still are in bullish territory, but relatively weak compared to what we're seeing everywhere else. And crude oil called it a buy yesterday, and today we're down. We tried to go higher, showing a little bit of stalling here down here at this low. Gold expecting it to go down and we broke this area so gold could be in a lot of trouble here let me see boom, boom, boom. Uh, gold is a sell now i'm going to add a sell to gold and let me see what silver is doing silver i cannot do the same so this one oh boy just i cannot add a uh, sell to this one not yet and man guys I'm going to go here and show you something on the weekly chart on the S&P 500 for the week. Now, it's only Tuesday, but you'll see resistance, resistance, resistance. For the week, we are over a resistance point, so that's very, very bullish. But we've been over this red line several times and always have come back down. So let's see by the end of this week if we don't drop back down below this area, this red line. So that's something that we are watching here at Grok Trade. So hope you have had the chance to go out and vote today. That is all the rage. You, if those of you who are on social media, all you see is I voted stickers <laughs> plastered over everybody's apparels. And anyway, that's your duty. If you're here in the United States, I was in Myanmar last week, which is Burma. And I was shocked, and also Singapore, and also in Singapore, I was shocked on how many people asked me about the elections. And it is very popular worldwide, so all eyes are on it. So again, one of these two will be your president going into the future. All the best to you and us. Catch you later.